Hey, what is going on guys? Ryan back from Fur to Heath. Been putting this video off for about a week. It's going to be a little bit of a balcony update slash harvest video. Um, we got this bad boy. Found this guy, washed it up. We're going to use that as a little harvest tray. We'll get outside and see what we can harvest, guys. Got a bunch of sunset banana peppers, jalapenos. I don't think I'm going to pick the Arapahoes yet. I think those could still get ripe. We had plenty, plenty more down the row to go though so yeah we'll see what we got and yeah kind of just slowly give an update as we go alrighty guys we will start with the habanero burning bush look at this beautiful beautiful plant man look at that guy right there Ooh. many 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 looks like we got around about 20 I hope about 20 uh, half decent sized habanero burning bush peppers and we do have that misshapen one kind of that one that just looks like another pepper totally can finally pick that bad boy and t pluck the seeds and actually replant it if we'd like to which i think i will do but yeah look at that tons and tons and there's quite a few more to go as well like we still got that guy to go this guy to go and i'm sure there's a bunch more hiding yeah like still plenty more to ripen up which is wicked um not too much action going on on the table here though. This is the ghost pepper plant, like we got flowers. But no actual peppers pushing through. Same with the habanada, unfortunately. But again, these were ridiculously plagued with aphids. You can pretty much just see, like so bare bones in certain spots. And yeah, I don't even know what these are again. I have no freaking clue. Like they like half grew, half didn't. Again, probably because of aphids. And then yeah, this is a, and their little can ghost pepper plant that almost put out a few times but again just drop the drop the flowers instead of actually pushing through um not sure what this guy is i would like to say this is a black cobra but i actually have no no clue again it's kind of like almost like a little can plant practically but yeah so we can harvest the burning bush um make our way over here you can see we've got um, the New Mex Big Jim just starting to push out. You can see it fought through the aphids and it's actually just starting to push out a bunch of peppers. There's like four or five there. A couple more over here. Probably, hopefully we'll get another five to eight peppers out of that. That'd be awesome. You can see the dead aphids there. Um, again, the Carolina Reaper plants, nothing going on guys. Just a bunch of dead aphids and kind of a non-productive three plants which is disheartening, but there are, so there's like a couple peppers, you know, or a couple flowers that, you know, could push through, but it's very, very, very unlikely. Um, however, I did just check out the Arapahoes. You can see that guy is just starting to turn color. You can just see how it's getting deep red compared to that green one just beside it. And there's a couple more following suit beside it. So we'll let the Arapahoes go. There's probably like a good 10 or so to ripen up there, which will be awesome. So maybe we'll make a straight up just Arapaho pepper sauce in the future here. And then, yeah, this batch of, I know I said the last batch was going to be, uh, of jalapenos was going to be pickled, but this batch was for sure going to get pickled. Um, I pretty much just did a ferment with the other ones not too long ago. So yeah, these will actually be pickled. And luckily, we got tons. Like, look, man, this, this plant has been so productive. I think I've gotten minimum 100 jalapenos just from this big guy plant, which is fantastic. And then, yeah, like I said, as you can see, guys, a bunch of sunset peppers from that plant that I kind of tried to restore back to life. It's still a little unhealthy. But we got another another plant with a couple big boys on it can harvest and then yeah another little smaller size jalapeno plant but massive plant at thus yeah so we'll kind of just start picking away at harvesting here and then we'll make our way down there to even more guys you can see plenty plenty to harvest all right there we go there's that kind of misshapen one yeah, there's a good at least 20 little burning bush habaneros there, guys. It's kind of medium size. Like, they're not small, but they're not massive, right? Some are bigger than others. Yeah, moving on. Nice batch of the jalapeno big guys to go alongside the habaneros. Heck yeah, man. Like I said, those will all probably be pickled and just turn into beautiful, beautiful tasting little pickled peppers. These are from the smaller sunset plant. And then as you can tell, these are from the slightly bigger one. Heck yeah. And now my favorite guys, the mocha swirl. These ones aren't as, as like intense of a swirl as the very first ones. You can see the little variegation on them there. Yeah, the pods are pretty cool color. Definitely got that mocha purple color, but 
Yeah, unfortunately, these are the only two left. I just checked the plant right there. That little kind of variegated guy there. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like we have any more, and I don't think I see any more flowers either, unless I'm just mistaking it with little pieces of variegation. But, yep, a couple little mocha swirl peppers, but yeah, no more to come, and probably no more for the rest of the season. However, I do have a bunch of seeds saved, even from that first pot, so we will grow more. Bunch of smaller, little standard size jalapenos, not the big guys, but again, will definitely be getting pickled. There's at least one that's pretty decent size. Probably the biggest they get out of the standards. Well, at least from that plant. That plant's a little bit stunted also. Yeah, yeah I'll just kind of show you guys off some stuff. Little Washington geraniums. Um, again, like a, I don't know. I think this might be the uh, white habanero. I'm not actually sure. Scotch bonnet. Little scotch bonnet kind of can plant. Didn't really come back too much. Still green, but didn't produce um, the second round. Um, however, look at this, guys. Look at the super chili plant that is going to be cool when those all ripen up oh baby we're just gonna have a bunch of little time bombs on our hand look at that plant man i'm surprised this one came back again this one got aphid infested hecka hecka aphid infested yeah look at that beautiful comeback beautiful comeback look at that sriracha as well got a couple more flowers coming in looks like there's also a pepper um right there so yeah, hopefully more sriracha's coming. Like I said, I do have a bunch frozen. We'll take this one and freeze it as well, and we'll have a big batch of sriracha sauce. That'll be kind of fun. Um, where is it? Where is it? Got a rose. One rose. The plant's just starting to kind of do it. It looks like a spider kind of took over, but I don't mind. You know, be makes for a beautiful little rose picture right there. Look at that guy. Yeah, the stunted orange habanero plant. Just, again, just a bunch of dead aphids. Probably nothing left to produce on this plant. A um, couple jalapeno gigantes. We'll probably harvest a few of those bad boys. At least two or three. Um, looks like I think I'll leave the Megatron for now as well. Um, looks like I've got a yeah, a little bit of a little bit of dead aphids. That's good though, just dead aphid shells. But yeah, looks like we've got quite a few Megatrons that will definitely get bigger and more ripe. But yeah, many to come, which is awesome. Um, don't know if there's any on this regular jalapeno plant. Looks like a couple little stunted guys. So we'll see how big those end up getting. Um, what else? A couple, uh, couple serranos. I think these are serranos. We will pick those. I don't mind. They're not fully ripe, obviously, but they're they're not bad. Like in this state, they're not bad. They still got a little bit of a bite to them, um, but they're not like ripe 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 but we will probably pick them so maybe some more will come in the next month we'll see um got that flavor burst up there i'll probably pick that so that the rest have more time to grow you can kind of see that big red bell pepper that i've got up there we'll leave that for another little while but that's almost ready to go you can see the just sweet beside it right here producing a bunch and you can kind of see in there my all my cayennes all the red ones and then yeah the Primero Red Habaneros. So yeah, we got a bunch still at the harvest, guys. We'll slowly, slowly start stacking the peppers that we got to harvest over there into our little beautiful tray that we got going on. These are the Jalapeno Gigantes. Got four beautiful ones. Heck yeah, again, we're gonna put those right into a pickle. Got a nice handful of Serrano peppers. Like I said, they're not fully ripe, but they're they're great in that state too. Like lots of people just harvest them in that state and eat them or fry them up like that. So yeah, beautiful. See, we got a big lot Primero Red habaneros right there. Pretty much picked all of them. You can see not all of them are like ripe ripe, but that's because I just want to give that plant the best chance it's got to produce the rest of what it has on there and ripen the rest of what's on there because it is in the middle of getting plagued by aphids, of course. Okay, I got a sweet, sweet harvest there. There's that flavor burst, and there is a handful of banana peppers and an Anaheim. Just the one Anaheim. Got another one kind of in the middle of going, but yeah, the plants weren't that big. Little, little bit of color turn, but yeah, this will be a good one. I didn't want to pick it, guys, but there, I'll show you the plant here. It's, um, you can see it's just starting to push out a couple little guys and another flower, um, another little guy right there. So yeah, I want those to go as fast as possible because this plant's pretty freaking big. And you can see it produces literally like apple-sized peppers. So yeah, and there's not much time left in the season. Like I said, like maybe 20, 30 days absolutely top. So 
or may, I mean, we, we could get lucky and it could go to Halloween, but that's very, very unlikely because the weather's already starting to drop to like five degrees at night now, which is not good for the, uh, not good for the pepper production, but it is what it is, guys. So yeah, we'll go ahead and harvest these cayennes. Looks like we've got a big fat poblano right there. Nice poblano pepper to, to harvest. A little tiny guy there to follow eventually. But yeah, we'll get those cayennes all harvested. Hopefully no more D-bags driving their cars, revving them in the parking lot, and yeah, we'll make our way down the aisle here. Got a gorgeous amount of cayenne long thins. Like I said, I've just got tons, man, tons. Look at that beautiful poblano as well. That's probably the most beautiful grown poblano I've had. That's a big one too. Like I got decent sized hands. Oh, I got bad callus. Ooh. But yeah, decent sized poblano. Let's take that all day. And yeah, a few more peppers to go, guys. Got a bunch more cayennes that are going to ripen up as well. I didn't want to pick all of them right now. I could, but I'm not going to. Um, so we have at least one more harvest for the rest of the season. But yeah, we'll get to finishing the rest here, guys. We're almost done. Um, yeah, not too many more plants to go. A couple dragon rolls see what else is kicking around all right guys i think this is pretty much gonna wrap it up found another banana pepper um that one i think right here is a sweet wax um some fajita peppers and then two dragon rolls the two really red ones are the dragon rolls the rest are the fajitas beautiful 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 harvest again guys look at that epic we'll go inside and lay it all out on a cutting board for a little beautiful thumbnail and an outro and yeah that's pretty much it, guys. Thank God, like I said, we do have all those Arapahoes still to get ripe. Um, tons and tons of Cayennes. Hopefully we get another little round of Habaneros. Definitely tons more hob or, sorry, Jalapenos, like the Megatrons to come. So yeah, there's going to be one more really good harvest to end the season. And a bunch of tomatoes, that big that big uh, bell pepper, a bunch more flavor. But yeah, big Berthas are in behind it too, like big Berthas coming through right there. Um, just sweet. Uh orange blaze is in there as well you can see some orange blade yeah there's so there's tons more bell peppers sweet peppers to come i'm excited all right guys there it is pretty much a beautiful picture of a thumbnail and just a wicked wicked collection harvest of peppers you could pretty much call this an early fall harvest to be honest like this was pretty much the first harvest of fall or you could call it the very very end of summer harvest per se one or the other early fall end of summer harvest could call it that per se but yeah look at that guys we'll go over it one more time i know nobody wants to hear it but guys got all the banana peppers at the front the sun sets and then you can see it kind of just slowly goes to like almost a little greener and those are the actual just straight up banana peppers so sunsets bananas then we got the serranos the cayennes all those red guys beautiful beautiful all hobbin or sorry all jalapenos right beside it even those red guys really ripe jalapenos um, then down in this bottom corner, you got the habanero burning bush peppers, the primero red habaneros, two mocha swirls. You can just barely see the variegation in them. Like, they're, they're, like I said, these ones aren't the craziest looking ones compared to like the other ones that I had. But yeah, a little bit of variegation there, a little bit. A couple dragon rolls beside them. The fajita, hot fajita peppers, uh, Anaheim, poblano and our flavor burst right in the middle guys beautiful beautiful collection of peppers if i forgot anything on here i'm sorry but yeah very beautiful guys thank you so much for tuning in very much appreciated very much respected anyone who hits that like button comment subscribe thank you so much very much love um we'll see you in the next one guys sorry i put these videos off so much i've been working my ass off right now in the landscaping industry which i've been trying to get into forever so whenever i finally own a house and stuff oh baby you guys won't even imagine the garden and the place we're gonna have oh man